Latest on the corporate espionage scandal, crime branch has called in uh, Ministry of Defence officials for probe. This after the arrest of uh, defence officials in the corporate espionage case. Bhavtosh Singh joins us with the details. Yes, Bhavtosh. Well, a senior official from Ministry of Defence, in fact, a colonel, has been uh, called in by the Delhi police. Uh, uh, this, uh, this follows after an arrest of an MOD staffer. Now, while the police maintain that only forged identity cards have been recovered from his position, but the police have also said that... Uh, these cards were used by employees of consultancies and different energy firms to gain access to different ministries. Uh, the official was called in. He stayed here for at least uh, two hours. He's, uh, he, in fact, told them about uh, about uh, about this staffer who was employed with the audit division of Ministry of Defence. And, in fact, uh, the senior official statement has also been recorded by the Delhi police. Uh, so when is this questioning likely, uh, Bhavtosh? And, and are there more arrests likely? Because now the Defence Ministry becomes the fourth after oil, coal and power to come under this ambit of corporate espionage. Well, police still maintains that uh, no documents have been leaked from Ministry of Defence. In fact, they have issued a statement to this effect that uh, no officials uh, or no uh, no official files or documents have been leaked from Ministry of Defence. But the fact remains that the ambit of probe has definitely increased since yesterday. Uh, Fourteen persons have been arrested in this case. Two FIRs have been filed by the Delhi Police. Uh, this is with respect to the Coal and Power Ministry. And seven government employees who were working in Shastri Bhavan, five of them with uh, Petroleum and two with uh, Coal Ministry, are still being questioned by the Delhi Police. It's likely that they will be arrested very soon. In fact, other suspects have said that they used to pay them a monthly spend of anything between 30,000 to 40,000 rupees so that uh, they can give them documents which would later be passed to corporates. Well, do the crime branch officials know that how long has this been going on and uh, with this uh, and what else have they been able to glean out of the MOD official who's been arrested? The police have said that as far as the scam goes, they said that it's going on for years. Uh, in fact, uh, what is most shocking is the fact that most of them were working as uh, as virtually employees of these uh, energy firms. Uh, the seven staffers who are still being questioned, it's, uh, it's second day of that questioning. They, they they have admitted that they used to receive monthly stipend from the uh, from these uh, consultants and uh, later on they used to give documents to them. Uh, the police have also said this MOD official was working on a, tem on a contract with Ministry of Defence uh, but he had access to, uh, to uh, entry pass which were later on given to his accused. Uh, he also passed an official letterhead of Ministry of Defence which helped uh, other accused in this car to get uh, car passes so that they, these cars can enter inside coal power and, uh, and petroleum ministry. So it's a big net. Uh, police have said that the scope of the probe has definitely widened. 14 persons right. in two FIRs have been arrested so far.